Hey guys, today is Thursday. Oh, that's a big airplane, holy crap. Wow. Sorry, we have we have a military um, station somewhere near around here, near or around here. And you sometimes see those massive military airplanes in the sky. And it's just a wonder to see, cause like they, they're able to turn so much faster than what I normally see in airplanes and they're just so bulky, it's just, Pretty cool, to, pretty cool to watch. That was a rare sight down in Florida where we lived. Currently, I am going to the post office to pick up some mail. Come on. I say this every vlog and most of the time I just edit it out, but there's a lot of stopping and pausing in this area because people just do not know how to drive here. And it's scary. Before I moved here, I don't know if I said this in a vlog, but before I moved here, I lived in Florida, and I thought Florida drivers were terrible because you got those senior drivers who most times they can't see the road or don't remember the turn signals or whatever that it is. I'm not going to specifically say, but I noticed that's a lot of the car accidents there. I thought it was bad there. Really, it's not. I moved here where, where I live is a little like 40 minutes away from Atlanta, so we still get a lot of the Atlanta traffic around here. <laughs> this is bad. I've driven before I moved here to Georgia. Like the first year I moved here to Georgia was just last year. For nine years without accidents, without a problem, etc. I was trained by my father who was specialized, trained in many different uh, vehicles like big semi trucks. Uh, those other machines are, you get special licenses for and everything. I don't really remember the term for them, but I was trained by him. And out of my siblings, he said I was the best driver because I just I had the confidence and I knew what I was doing. It seemed like I knew what I was doing, even though I never drove, drove before. And um, moved here, moved into our house. A couple of months after moving into our house, uh, we were at the gym and I, uh, I was backing up and this person was behind me. And I was backing up out of a parking spot and they were sitting <laughs> in my blind spot in the middle of the road. And yes, cars do kind of have blind spots. I know it's weird, like, no, they don't, blah, 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 blah. But then you kind of do, because I didn't see them. And I'm always panicking over the uh, mirrors, the back and everything like that, because because I'm, you know, schizophrenic with paranoia, I'm always panicking that there's going to be a car that's going to hit me. So I'm always double checking this shit, even when I'm driving, and Zach double checks for me to make me feel more comfortable about it. And uh, I back up and I, I hit her car, and everything's fine. No one's really hurt. The, the damage is easy to fix, kind of thing. Like I, we were able to pop ours back out and like wipe away the, the damage, literally wipe away the damage. And um, her, the woman, the, the girl I hit, her mother. <laughs> Uh, had parked nearby and she was talking to them I guess when I hit them and she thought that her son that was getting out of the car or something had moved the car and, blah, blah, blah. and when she realized that wasn't the case and that I hit her all of a sudden it wasn't a joking situation it was yelling and screaming at me to the point like why are you screaming at me this much she was screaming like why would you do this what are you doing and she wouldn't stop well Zach and I pulled back into the parking lot where like the other girls said just pull in somewhere we can you know this figure the situation out. She was very nice, very nice girl. Her mother, on the other hand, <laughs> and um, we were asking her, "Are you guys okay? Are you okay?" Because the way the bump felt, I felt like I had actually hit a person. Like that's how soft the bump felt like compared to a car, where you would think when you hit a car, you're like, "Oh, kind of situation." Well, uh, I felt like I just kind of like bumped a person. Like, "Oh, what was that?" <laughs> and I was freaking out about it because I thought it hurt someone. And we're all like panicking, like, oh, are you guys okay? And everything. Well, her mom is screaming at us, What did you do? Why would you do this? I'm like, Woman, I didn't see you there. Why were you parked behind me? Why didn't you park up in the front to drop your brother off? Why? There's a lot of questions were going through my head, but when I'm screamed at, I start freaking out. I start panicking for, just, for unknown reasons. I think I was just, I don't like being yelled at. I have a thing about it. I start crying, I start panicking. And then I start hearing voices a lot faster and louder. And it's just, it's hell on earth for me. Either way, that happened. And 
first accidents out of my almost 10 year career of driving at that point. And it was, it was like the worst experience of my life just because of that woman who could have been a lot more calm about the situation. And she literally said to, uh, to Zach, because by then I was crying and stuff like that. He's like, don't worry, everything's calm. We can fix, you know, this is an easy fix and everything like that. You don't need to be freaking out. Everyone's okay. She's like, I, I don't care what you guys have to say. I don't care if you guys are okay. I don't care about the damage of your car. You don't understand. I'm like, oh my God, we're going to calm down. That was last year. I haven't gotten into an accident since, but I've gotten into almost plenty because, people, like I said, people around here do not know how to drive. So just, if you're ever in Georgia, around the Atlanta area, visiting, going somewhere, just please, please drive safe. Anyway, I have to go get the mail. So, after this, I'm going to go work on some videos because I've been falling behind the last few days. Mostly because Zach's been off, so. When, when he's off, we really don't do anything. So, yeah, see you guys in the next few days. Hey, guys. It's Saturday, and sorry. I look like shit. Um, unfortunately, I've been having episodes for the last few days. Mostly with dissociation where just I haven't been here in the brain. And um, it's been hard to even drive, so I've been trying not to drive anywhere. And today was really bad. And I was even shaking today. I'm thinking something else happened to me also. I was shaking pretty badly. I haven't been to the gym at all this week. And um, I just woke up from another nap in hopes that it would help me a little bit out of it. We'll see you later, I guess. I got my two buddies here. That's Salem, that's right here. I got Anubis. And I had a Barbosa, but you know how long that lasts. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, Although I've been going through dissociative uh, episodes where I'm just not uh, here in the brain, um, I haven't tried my best to work as much as possible. I was able to film game videos because that doesn't require me to put makeup on. I've been working on Between Monsters and Men, so I've been trying my best. Um, luckily, uh, my first psychiatrist appointment will be happening next week on Friday. Sorry for the delay of uh, vlogs this week. And yeah. See, I keep closing my eyes because everything's like... Right now, my brain's not picking up on features, and it's not that great. Either way, I'm fine. I mean, it's not hurting me or anything, but I have to just be really careful with what I'm doing, activities that I'm doing, and everything like that. But I know I have to get up uh, and really get myself some water and take care of myself around because I haven't really drank and I haven't really ate too much healthy food. So I'm going to get up and go do that. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. And I'll be seeing you next week and uh, tomorrow <laughs> with a video.